you go to our website, parkindustries.com. Up on the top right, you're gonna click on service and training guides. And once there, we're gonna go to downloads and click submit. When you're on that site, you're gonna to go to look for type VNC for Windows NT. Open that up and acknowledge. But you're gonna click on this link to download Tight VNC and it's gonna bring you to Tight VNC's website. At that point, you're just gonna download the top one, the self-installing package for Windows. It is downloading. And what we need to do is we need to install this on a programming PC, preferably with Windows 10, and also on the older PC. So we're going to open that up. And to install, pretty simple, it's got to click next through everything. And install, and we're done. Now we also need to do the same thing on the machine side. So what we'll do is we will transfer the file over. What works best if you drop it into your G code folder or somewhere else on your desktop, wherever. Okay, so once you have Type VNC Viewer set up on the desktop, we're gonna do the same thing. Install it on the machine. And just click on next through everything. and finish once you're at this point on the machine you're going to start go to programs look for tight vnc and then launch tight vnc server I'm going to unblock here the only thing we need to change is the primary password we're going to change it to sunrise, all capital letters, S-U-N-R-I-S-E. And then click OK. And it will stay down in the system area, system clock area, until you close it out. Once you do that on the program PC, we're going to go to start and then look for tight VNC viewer. So once you open up the tight VNC viewer, you're going to type in the PC name which you can find by right clicking on my computer on the machine and go to properties, it'll be displayed in there. But on this machine, it's gonna be destiny. And we'll click on connect. And when you do that, it's gonna ask you for the password. So sunrise, all capital letters. And there's our connection. So now we can see a desktop, manipulate the machine, however we need to do. Um, one last thing you'll want to do is click on the save button and that will save that connection info so we can call it destiny and just save it on your desktop that way next time we need it we're able to just double click on that and connect to it it's